Hi there guys, I'm Dominic from The Better Car Company and this morning Tim and I are going to show you a 1998 Honda Accord VTI, automatic and just a really desirable cheap little run around in an auto and we, we all know the autos are desirable, not a lot of them around, everyone's got manuals, little autos are hard to come by and it's only done 140 something thousand k's, uh, not a lot of k's for its age and these things are bulletproof, they're really bulletproof. Uh, the, the VTI course on the motor and also we're finding that now of, the, of this age they've probably all done 200 plus thousand k's so uh, it's not a lot of k's the car's really good condition Honda Accord they're bulletproof as you guys know um, and Tim and I are going to show you around the car and then we'll show you inside and then we'll take you for a quick drive Tim's the cameraman say hello Tim hello viewers and um, the only thing look is some person not us, but someone's reversed into it at some point. Just a the number bar. plate. Just the a number, number plate. plate. Yeah, so the number plate's a bit bent, but you know, you could go to the RTA and uh, and that's no problem getting another number plate. A couple of little very sort of, there's a bit of a scuff there, your usual sort of parking sort of things. Tim might hone in and see, it's really nothing to worry about. Tyres are really good. Uh, the car's actually just been roadworthy, so we've roadworthied it, so it's all fine, spot on. So if you're buying into state or something and you're worried maybe about the windscreen or the tyres or anything like that, or roadworthy, well, you obviously don't have to because we've roadworthied it. Uh, reasonably, you know, it's pretty shiny in the paint, this car, and it's very straight in the body. Uh, and it's got the alloy wheels and all of the other features inside, which we'll show you. A little bit of a... And look here, we're not going to hide things. We, we'll show you as it is. A little bit of a... Rippling. A couple of ripples rippling. there, yeah. so... Again, probably in a shopping centre where someone's opened a door or something against it, you're not going to fix it, you can barely see it, and it's just, you know, cheap little car run around. I think the most important thing about this car is that it's a Honda, is that it's roadworthy, is, is that it's automatic and it's low case. And it's clean inside, very, very nice inside. Um, yeah, I'll just show you the back here. Inside the car. You've got to unlock, I'm locked out. Are you locked out? It's all right. There's the, uh, there's the, look at that, it's lovely and clean inside the car, as you can see. In the boot, look at that, it's a huge boot, it's absolutely enormous. I and mean, that is so big, that boot. It's not a massive car, it's just a smallish to, to almost medium sized car, but the boot is enormous, it's so big. I mean, I could, you could probably fit, now I'm pretty fat as you can see. And we could probably put two or three of me in there, you know? How many golf sets could you get in there, Tim? Probably so three. You could get three in there, couldn't you? I mean, that's just enormous. Spare is there, look at that beautiful spare, the Michelin tire. Um, and the, the tool kit is there. It's all a very, very good car. Um, around this side also, as you can see, and the, the tires are really good. They're, they're tons and tons of tread. Let's have a look in the back there. Really good in the interior, no tears or cigarette burns or marks or stains or anything like that. Non-smoker's car. Yeah, it's probably been a non-smoker's car. It's not a smelly car or anything. It's just a, it's very, very clean for its age, isn't it? Like a little old lady's car. I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, we haven't detailed it and there's a bit of, uh, that's probably from the mechanic's boots there. The bit of uh, black that you can see. Yeah. Because we, we had it road with it, as we said, just, the, just yesterday or the other day. So that's what that is. It needs to just be vacuumed up. Uh, should we drop, jump in, Tim, and take the good viewers for a drive? Uh, and you know what impresses me? Look, even going back to the, the age, uh, Tim, look at that. You know, it's got the airbag. SRS airbag there. So, if you're buying for your kids, and uh, you know, as a first car, well, that's a great feature, isn't it? And the head unit here they call this a pioneer head unit which is just an aftermarket um, radio so that you can play your iPod and all your more updated technology that 1998 vehicles probably would how's that air Tim it's pretty chilly that's pretty chilly isn't it yeah very chilly 148 K there I don't know if they can see it, there's a bit of shadow it's a bit dark oh there, there you go but anyway 148 thousand K's Again, as I said, it's not a lot of case for its age. T-bar automatic, and that's, you know, beautiful big feature, four-speed uh, automatic there. All right, we'll just maneuver through this little intersection. It's always a bit of a doozy, this one. This guy, what's he doing? He's got the right of way, but he wants to stop. 
I don't know how these people get their licenses seriously in this day and age in this country. Um, all right, so we're just cruising and lovely car, just does everything right, beautiful, smooth, tons of power. I mean, we can't. Now, I'm going to turn that air down, Tim. It's so cold. That's freezing, that air. And I look, I actually like driving with the window open, so I'll do that. Um, we're not going to hoon around the streets. There's people everywhere here, and we're not going to do any silly naff type of... It's our very casual Saturday. That show that I hate, Tim? Every video. <laughs> Every video that we do, Don, asks me the same question. But, you know, I'm getting on. I, I forget. What is it? Top Gear. I hate that Top Gear. I just... I really, he really got fired. Dis Did he? He got Jeremy Clarkson got he got the got the chop. Did he really? He did. Yeah, he's annoying. I don't know who's going to employ him. He's annoying. We're not annoying. And but anyway, we're not going. Well, I hope you don't find us annoying. We're we're really bringing you a fantastic little motor car at a really cheap price. It's going to be thousands less than anywhere else because we're really competitive. We're serious. We're on the ball. I know I'm dressed in my shabby sort of attire, but you know, it's a Saturday and it's just a casual day, but. The cars we buy are not shabby. They're just damn good cars, and uh, and you'll be happy. So if you're buying this car, you can buy this car from Interstate. Just call us, talk to us. We'll describe the car again to you in person over the phone, uh, I should say, and you'll be happy. You'll be really happy. We've got a list of customers mile long all over Australia that buy all sorts of cars from us, and everyone's always happy. And uh, we can even give you some referrals if you want uh, from people that have bought cars off us and uh, can tell you how wonderful we are. Because we're really good, aren't we, Tim? We try to be. Yeah. And uh, we're straightforward, honest, genuine, and we just want to bring you good cars. We just want to sell good cars. Isn't that right, Tim? It is. Make a small margin and get on with life. And when I say small margin, tiny sometimes, because it's a competitive market out there. It really is. It's a competitive marketplace. Buyer's market. It's a buyer's market. We understand this. You guys are the buyers. You guys are the winners when you deal with a better car company because we sell our cars, good cars, at, at really fair prices. How would you describe this car for its, its age? Perfect. Seriously. Little old lady's car. And how and what is it out of ten really for its age? It's a good nine and a half. A 10. good nine and a half or ten. Nine and a half we rate this car and uh, you're gonna love it. It's just been roadworthy and uh, there you go. Thanks for watching the video guys. Cheers, bye.